Let me show you how you can create a simple progress bar like the one here in Excel and then copy it into Power BI. So this progress bar is having um, dynamic coloring depending on what value I have selected here. So when I select 80, the coloring goes up to 80 and also 80 is shown. If I go to 50, same thing, the first five cells are green, the rest is white, and we have the number 50 in here. And I'm going to try to rebuild exactly the same thing from scratch. So let's start with an empty Excel file. I have to select 10 cells. The, that's what I want to have in my progress bar, a value between 0 and 100 with 10% steps. So we'll add some borderlines and then we also add the actual number. So we start with 10% and we add 10%, get rid of the decimals. So we should add up at 100. There was one missing, so now we are at 100. That's the basic structure, but now let's also add some formatting. So maybe let's make this a bit higher. Um, maybe also align the text in the center and not bad. What's missing is colors and it's important that we give a different color to every single cell and I will show you why later on. So this is gray and a little bit darker. It has absolutely no impact. It doesn't matter which colors you pick. Just pick random colors. Just make sure not to use the same color twice. Uh, not sure if I have this one. So blue and there's no green yet so a green one so this is a progress bar maybe a bit too wide maybe a bit narrower so maybe that's nice okay then i select the cells which are part of the progress bar then i head over to file save as and navigate to the place where i want to save it and now and that's quite important we don't want to save it as an excel file but we want to save it as a web page so we select web page htm html and then also we must select that we only want to save the selected cells so we select save selected cells save publish and then when i navigate to this location where i just saved it we see that i have this document here and when i open it it actually opens in my web browser and when i now right click and select view page source I get the code which I will be able to reuse in my DAX measure so let's select the entire code by clicking uh, Control A then Control C to copy now what I need to do is I need to replace all double quotes with single quotes so I simply do this in WordPad so paste in the whole code again select everything, control A, control H to find and replace, then I replace double quotes with single quotes, replace all, and now this is really the code that will work in my measure. So when I copy it and then head over to my empty Power BI file, there's currently no place where I can create a measure, so I need to create a table first. So I just add a, a blank table. And then add the measure in this table and I call it progress bar equals to double quote paste the code double quote again and because this is HTML and CSS we also need a visual that can actually display that so I'm gonna import the visual from app source search for K team there's three visuals and the HTML and CSS viewer is the one that I want to get so I add it to my Power BI and then add it to the report, add the measure and here we go. So now we already have a progress bar. But of course this is hard coded, it's not dynamic at all. So in order to make it dynamic, let's first also get the parameter where we can choose a value between 10 and 100. So I'm going to add a what if parameter. We just name it parameter, that's okay. Maximum value 100, increments should be 10. We don't need the default value, 
but we want to add a slicer to the page. So this should define or decide which um, how our progress bar is displayed. So now we need to go into the measure and make parts of it dynamic. So first let me add a variable for the measure. Let's call it value var value and it's just the, the measure the parameter value. Okay, so now let's look at this code a little bit more in detail. The top part has to do with design and styling. And we're going to get back to this in a minute. We want to first look at the bottom part where we actually have the content of the table. So this is where we have the table definition. And then we also see that the values that were added to the table are also displayed in the code. So we have 10%, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So let's make this, let's replace this hard-coded text with DAX. So let's get rid of this and add some DAX. So what do we want to do? We actually want to only show the 10% if 10 is selected in our slicer. So we say if not if eager, but just if our parameter is 10, then we want to display 10%. Otherwise, this should be blank. And then we can copy this and also replace the other parts of the code So 70, 80, 90, 100. And then, of course, we need to change the formula. So if this is 20, show 20. If 30, show 30, 40, 40. Confirm with enter and now let's see. So we have selected 60 and we only see 60. 30, 30, 90, 90. So that seems to work. Now let's take care of the coloring. And now we will also see why I said that we should pick a different color for every single cell. Because now every cell has a style class. So the first cell, the one showing 10%, has a class called X165. The second one has 166, 167, 168. So we know exactly which one is which and we can easily modify it. So let's just try to remember 165 and find it up here. So 165 is here. So this is the formatting for the very first cell on the left hand side which currently has this hex color code as a background. And that's what we want to replace. So again, we want to say if. And it will be again our variable, the value, which defines the color. So if the value is 10, then let's make it green. Otherwise, let's make it white. And maybe let's give this a test. Let's see if it works before we replace the rest. So right now this cell is white. If I go to zero, it is. Oh, I think this is not quite correct yet. We actually want to only color it um, if it's 10 or more. So there seems to be, yes, exactly. So that makes more sense. So now at zero, it's white. 10 green and everything above 10 also green. So now we know this code works, so we can take it and go to the next column. This time it is 20. Then we have 
And as you can see here, there's a lot more that we can make dynamic. Currently, I'm only changing the background, but we could change borders, um, text alignment, text colors, font families, um, text decoration, we could make it bold and underline, and there's anything basically of these cells that we could change dynamically. But this should just deal as, um, you know, as an example of how in general we, you could build an element like this um, and then of course you could make this much more dynamic and also much more complex but there's nearly no limitation so this is 80 this should be 90 and then we only have one more last one background should be 100 okay so this is a progress bar and it works oh it doesn't work when i selected 20 yes that, that's probably just because i explained and talked and did the measure at the same time so we have if var value 20 then 20 it does look correct to me If 20 then 20, otherwise show nothing. 10, 20, 30. So yeah, this can happen when you try to explain something, when you talk and work at the same time. So it must be a small, simple error mistake in my DAX. I'm currently, I'm not sure what it is. I cannot find it. But anyway, this was just, you know, a quick demonstration to show you what you can do. If we go back to the demo report, um, where I also added some more objects, which were all created with the same visual. So we have these stars and then this kind of thing with the plane and this unlimited objects that we can create. Um, today, I just decided to go for a simple one. Otherwise, we would have spent too much time. But yeah, if you like this, please go ahead and Download the sample report, which by the way, you can also get from AppSource. So if you go in to AppSource and then say download sample, you get a sample report that contains a lot more elements that were all created with the HTML and CSS viewer. So please go ahead, download the visual, give it a go. And don't forget that you can always reach out and we are always happy to help you out and get you started with the visual. So thank you very much.